It's December 1st, 2018. Deontay Wilder just knocked out Tyson Fury in the 12th round to complete a miraculous comeback, extending his win streak to 41-0. The most feared man in boxing history just defeated his toughest opponent ever, and it looked as though nothing could stop him. Until he didn't. Tyson Fury sprung up from the canvas like a man possessed, shrugged off some huge shots from Wilder, and even won the rest of the round. The fight was controversially declared a draw, and a rematch was scheduled just a year later. But this time, it was Wilder who tasted the canvas, getting knocked down twice and dominated by Fury throughout the fight. But another controversial ending gave Wilder just enough of a case for a rematch. So, on October 9th, 2021, the third and final fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury took place. It was Wilder's last chance for redemption, to prove that he was still the most dangerous fighter in the heavyweight division, and put an end to boxing's greatest rivalry in over 25 years. And then, this happened. And he's never been the same. Deontay Wilder's career has been in freefall over the past three years. He's lost four of his last five fights, the most recent of which was a brutal knockout loss to Chinese powerhouse Zhai Li Zhang. But just five years prior, Deontay Wilder was the scariest name in boxing, with an incredible win streak and some of the most devastating knockouts you've ever seen. So where did it all go wrong? Despite his natural athleticism and six foot six frame, Deontay Wilder was never meant to be a boxer. In fact, he first picked up the sport in 2005 at 20 years old as a way to make money for his daughter, who was born with a serious birth defect in her spine. And in just a couple years, Wilder established himself as one of the top amateurs in the world. In 2007, Wilder stormed onto the scene winning both the Golden Gloves Tournament and the US Boxing Championships as a heavy underdog. This success allowed him to compete at the Beijing Olympics in 2008, finishing third and winning the bronze medal, earning him his nickname, the Bronze Bomber. He made his professional debut the same year, defeating Ethan Cox by TKO in the second round. This was the start of a 25-fight win streak over the next three years, maintaining an 100% knockout percentage with no fight going past four rounds. Wilder had honed his boxing style to complement his biggest weapon. He stayed patient during fights, biding his time with strong jabs until he found an opening for the right hand. Wilder got his first title fight in 2012, facing Kelvin Price for the WBC Continental Championship. Wilder delivered a monstrous overhand right in the third that dropped Price and he was unable to get back to his feet, giving Wilder his first belt. After five more destructive victories over the next three years, Wilder pushed his record to 32-0, all of which by knockout, which got him a fight for his first major boxing title. On January 17th, 2015, Deontay Wilder faced Bermain Stavern for the WBC title. Wilder dominated the majority of the fight, connecting with many big shots throughout and winning by a unanimous decision. Wilder became the first American heavyweight champion since 2007 and was touted as one of boxing's next big stars. And over the next four years, he cemented his place at the top of the rankings. He put together knockout after knockout, defending his title seven times, including a dominant victory in the rematch with Stavert dropping him three times in the first round like a sack of potatoes. Wilder climbed to number two in the official heavyweight rankings, behind only British superstar Anthony Joshua. But many considered Wilder to be the best boxer in the world. And so, a super fight between Joshua and Wilder to unify the belts was teased. But ultimately, the fight fell through. Wilder seemed to be up for any challenge and a big one was headed his way in 2018. In December, Wilder was matched up with a British heavyweight world champion. But instead of Anthony Joshua, he was paired up against Tyson Fury. 
Despite looking like a fat old man, Tyson Fury was actually the undefeated lineal heavyweight champion. He ended Vladimir Klitschko's decade-long reign as the top heavyweight back in 2015. However, after achieving his dreams, Fury fell into a deep depression and developed a serious drug and alcohol addiction. He was stripped of his belts after failing a drug test before the Klitschko rematch, and it looked like his boxing career was over. But after years of legal battles to regain his boxing license, Tyson Fury finally returned in January of 2018. He had two tune-up fights against lower-level competition before challenging Deontay Wilder for his WBC title in December. Despite being 6'9 and 260 pounds, Tyson Fury's boxing style was almost the exact opposite of Deontay Wilder's. Fury was known for his incredible boxing technique and footwork, dancing around his opponents and outworking them with slick jabs and fast combinations. This made Fury a stylistic nightmare for Wilder, as he could handle the American's strength and power while comfortably outboxing him from the outside. And for most of the fight, that's exactly what happened. Fury landed a lot of volume, confusing Wilder with slick movement and quick combinations, while staying far out of the way of Wilder's haymakers. And even when Deontay did land, Fury ate the shots well and continued to apply the pressure. But like all his previous fights, Wilder eventually found his target and dropped Fury with a quick right hook to the temple. But Fury recovered well and quickly re-established himself in the fight with some big shots of his own. So heading into the 12th and final round, Fury was clearly ahead on the scorecards, with Wilder most likely needing a knockout to retain his title. And after 30 minutes being outskilled and outboxed, Deontay Wilder's devastating power came in clutch, knocking Fury down with a perfect right hand left hook combo. It was a picture perfect combination that turned Fury's lights out, and it looked like he had no chance of recovering. But as referee Jack Reese knelt over Tyson Fury, he suddenly sparked back to life and quickly got back to his feet like nothing even happened. The crowd was in shock. Even Wilder himself couldn't quite believe it. Fury survived the rest of the round, and the fight finished with both men believing they had done enough to win. Unfortunately, they were both wrong, as the judges scored the contest a draw by split decision. Despite the late round heroics from Wilder, most of the media believed he had lost the fight, and that his novice boxing skills had been exposed. A rematch between Wilder and Fury was quickly scheduled, but the fight didn't take place right away. Wilder returned to the ring in June of 2019 and got back to winning ways, delivering the knockout of the year with a brutal first round demolition of Dominic Brazil. Then in November, he rematched Cuban Luis Ortiz and despite losing the first six rounds unanimously, Wilder found his mark in the seventh crumpling Ortiz with his signature right hand. Wilder achieved a record-tying 10 straight title defenses, but he still had some unfinished business to attend to. So, in February of 2020, the long-awaited rematch between Wilder and Fury took place. For Wilder, it was the same game plan as always. Stay patient on the outside and wait for openings to fire off some heavy shots. However, Tyson Fury had made some big changes heading into the rematch. Fury switched tactics completely, opting to face Wilder head on to force him on the back foot. Fury made it clear he was looking for the knockout, and many believed it was a foolish decision. Those people were wrong. Fury took control of the fight from the opening bell, putting Wilder on the back foot while landing big shots of his own. And in the third, Fury connected with a huge right hand on Wilder's temple, knocking him down for the first time in his career. Wilder barely survived the round, falling in the ropes and hanging on the Fury for dear life. The next few rounds were much of the same, as Fury staggered Wilder multiple times with huge punches. Fury found a second knockdown with a body shot in the fifth, and it looked like the fight would be stopped soon after. But Wilder continued to survive, stumbling around the ring hoping for a miracle shot to give him some leeway back into the fight. 
but halfway through the seventh, Wilder was backed into the corner and began eating massive shots from Fury. His coaches had seen enough and threw in the towel, sealing Wilder's first defeat in his professional career. Wilder had been outclassed from start to finish. He was unprepared for Fury's forward assault and never really seemed to find his footing. Wilder came up with many excuses after the fight, claiming his ringwalk suit had gassed his legs and that his coach betrayed him by throwing in the towel. Any chance of a third fight between the two looked slim, thanks to a dominant performance from Tyson Fury. But the rematch clause did exist in the contract, and after a year of battling for it, Wilder finally got his wish, and the trilogy belt between the pair was scheduled on October 9th, 2021. And thank God he did, as the final belt between these two heavyweights was one of the greatest fights in boxing history. Deontay Wilder came out strong in the opening round of the trilogy. Instead of shelling up and waiting for a big shot, Wilder increased his work rate and pressured Fury with jabs early on. The fight quickly turned into a brawl, with both men pressing forward and firing big punches. But it looked like history was repeating itself in the third, as Fury landed another big right hand to Wilder's temple and sent him tumbling to the canvas. Wilder looked wobbled to getting up, but managed to escape the round after taking some heavy shots. Fury kept up the pressure in the fourth, but this time, Wilder was ready to counter, landing a straight right hand on Fury's forehead that sent shockwaves down his body. Fury crashed to the mat, looking very hurt, and just seconds later, another short right hand sent Fury back down to the ground, but he managed to get up and was saved by the bell. From then on, the fight became a war of attrition. Both fighters took heavy damage, with each landing massive shots. But as the fight progressed, Fury started taking control, staggering Wilder multiple times and pushing him back on the ropes. But just when it looked like Wilder had enough, he'd respond with a big right hand to gain some respect back. In the 10th round, Fury slammed an off-balance Wilder with a right hook that dropped him for the second time in the fight. Wilder looked finished, but he refused to quit once more, staying alive for the rest of the round and even turning the tides in the dying seconds with some huge punches. Unfortunately, the 11th round was all Fury. He connected with numerous big uppercuts before setting up a massive right hook on the ropes that slapped Wilder for good. Despite the loss, Wilder's display of heart and grit earned him the respect of all boxing fans. He put on one of the most entertaining fights of the last decade, and went out on a shield, still trying to get up even after the fight was called off. But the damage Wilder had taken was severe. His refusal to quit made him take hundreds of unnecessary punches from a man who weighed nearly 300 pounds, and at 36 years old, that kind of damage was just something he couldn't recover from. Wilder returned to boxing a year later, facing off against Robert Hellenius. And for a moment, it looked like Wilder was back, as he scored a devastating first round knockout to get back in the win column. His next fight came in December of 2023, facing off against New Zealand native Joseph Parker. And unfortunately, the cracks started to show Wilder looked a step behind Parker. He couldn't keep up with the speed or technique, and the power he was known for was completely absent. And with his biggest strength seemingly gone, his subpar boxing skills got exposed. Wilder was outclassed for 12 straight rounds and lost a convincing unanimous decision. And things only got worse, as six months later, he faced off against Chinese powerhouse Zhai Li Zhang Wilder looked tentative once more, and was unable to land any meaningful punches. He got walked down by the bigger fighter until the fifth round, where he was on the receiving end of another highlight knockout. Zhang spun Wilder around with a right hook, and then sent him to the ground with another. It was Wilder's fourth loss in five fights, and his second by knockout in just three years. And at 38 years old, his ability to take punches will only get worse. 
The unstoppable powerhouse that destroyed every opponent he faced just doesn't exist anymore. And sadly, I don't think it's coming back. At one point, Deontay Wilder was the most feared man in boxing. He held an incredible 97% knockout percentage and gave boxing fans some of the most incredible highlights in history. His trilogy with Tyson Fury is one of the greatest rivalries in heavyweight history, but that greatness came with a price. Deontay Wilder put everything he had into the final fight against Tyson Fury. He took a barrage of punches that any other man would have crumpled from, but he stayed on his feet and kept fighting. But eventually, every chin gets cracked. And for Wilder, this moment was the true end of his career.